Hey, what's up, Joe? A uh, quick demo video for you for your EvoFlex. So got this done also earlier this afternoon. Uh, I took all of the original electronics that were in this guy. I'm not sure what board it was, but it came from the company. Um, I gutted that out entirely and installed this with a CFX. Um, I did away with the wires under the switch plate that usually are used for, um, for just like touch sensitive pads. And I put, if you can see that, two brass tactiles right here like I like to do. So your, your front tactile is your activation and your bottom is your auxiliary. And you do have uh, CC sabers in there for your main PCB. And then you get to everything by opening up this handle. Handle slides right out and so does your chassis. So uh, you just take, take your chassis and pull it right out just like that. Now this is holding a 28 millimeter Smugglers Outpost Elite speaker. Um, you've got removable battery, so spring side over here is your negative by your board. You've got your CFX board right here. And then I did put this strip of LEDs right here so that we could light up uh, the mesh that's right here in your saber. That's what I like to do. Um, the strips uh, uh, the strips barely fit into the saber, okay? So when you're putting the, the chassis in, if it stops on you right here, um, you know, right on those strips, come over here and squeeze them just a hair, and then it'll go right past those for you. Uh, it's just a little bit tight right there, but no biggie. And then um, there is a 14-pin PCB in there. You're not going to be able to see that, I don't think. But that stays in there. And uh, that's held in place by this set screw right here, so never mess with that guy. This is your blade retention, but leave this guy alone. Um, I've got that piece clocked exactly where it needs to be, so we don't want to mess with it. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw a battery in it. I got a Ricci on here to just demo the uh, Sabre. Push it right in. Now normally on these uh, Smuggler's Outpost switch pixel sets, you can put this chassis in however you want. However, because of this mesh, um, I would say line up the top of the board with your switch box. Just like that. And then we'll come over here and we'll screw this handle on. Screw the handle all the way down and it locks the pins in place, right? So now when we turn it on, you can see your shine through here. LEDs in there working like they should. Auxiliary. We'll turn this off and we'll throw a blade in it. Uh, this takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. We'll throw this in here real quick. And you will need to lock the, uh, so you will need to use the blade retention when you're swinging this guy around or your blade will fly out. Good shine through right here. Solid blade. Now this is on a blue. If you want to change the color, hold down your auxiliary and twist your wrist. Spectrum. Now you can just twist the saber and you can cycle through different colors until you pick one that you like. Say we wanted that green, then we just come back and touch the saber or uh, uh, the switch again. So now when we turn this guy on, we've got a green blade. Good flash on clash. Right? Now this is pretty much a solid blade right now, but you have a bunch of different blade profiles or blade styles. Uh, to get to those, hold down your auxiliary and twist your wrist again, but then this time keep the button held down. Spectrum. Keep holding it. Blade now again you can twist the saber and you can go through different blade effects hopefully this picking up on camera whatever your blade does this mesh is going to do because it's wired in line with your blade this has kind of a slight flicker to it so we'll pick that. And now we've got a green with a slight flicker.
and then to get to your next soundtrack you just or sorry your next sound font hold down the auxiliary button sound bank selection now we can go up or down with either button <laughs> that's the sound font for you at home crystal focus if we wanted this one we just hold down the button now we've, so now we've arrived at crystal focus Tap for blaster deflex. Or you can hold down the auxiliary for blade lock up. The right, speaker sounds really good in there. Um, we're going to take the blade out. Yeah, everything's working like it should. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. We'll go through taking the battery out real quick. We will just unscrew the handle one more time. And then you can just pull the chassis right out just like that and then the positive side over here by the speaker is where we want to come to pop the battery out of their finger so yeah let me know if you got any questions uh if not we'll get this out in the mail to you tomorrow thanks man